This is a $100,000 cert that has only been obtained by 300 people in the entire world. <laughs> so basically no one has it. It's worth its weight in gold, literally, because it costs more than several bricks of gold. And I'm gonna show you the difference between this and a $2,500 extensive, exquisitely hands-on expert level certificate, a $1,650 arguably overpriced certificate, and every other worthwhile cybersecurity analyst certificate available in 2024, compiled together from the most reputable source of truth on the internet, Reddit, and my own experience in the field, of course, starting with the world's cheapest cybersecurity certificates at $1. The Google Cybersecurity- oh. Stop! Google. Released on May 4th, 2023, it's usually available for $1. It covers everything someone who's never touched a computer in their life needs to decide to determine if cybersecurity is the right fit for you. If you're as lost as Wilson was, is? Did they ever find Wilson? Wilson, I'm sorry, Wilson! What is it like working with Tom Hanks? Hanks is a dick. <laughs> Check it out, you might find you love or hate cyber and save yourself some time. Now, after figuring out if you actually like cybersecurity, it's time to spend some more money. Because next on our list is the ITF Plus. Launched in September 4th of 2018, it's CompTIA's basic intro to tech competencies. If you don't know how to set up a computer, this might be the certificate you need. Just like our $1 certificate, this is very much a zero experience with computers certificate. Should you bother with the ITF Plus? Well, Metal ICAP Irate would recommend it if you're struggling with the A Plus material. There's a reason boomers don't understand technology because they're lazy and don't want to learn it. Yeah, how's that feel, boomers? Getting called lazy from a millennial. You don't like it, huh? You're not any less lazy than us just because you own a house that you traded a cow and two chickens for. CCST, a cybersecurity entry-level cert that prepares you for Cisco's associate certs. As Bam and you says, it's like CompTIA's Network Plus Lite with a Cisco flavor. If you're going for the CCNA and are worried about the test, this is a nice baby stepping stone before you make the leap. Now all Splunk certificates are roughly $100 each. And as luck might have it, they have a certified cybersecurity defense analyst certificate. Lots of analyst jobs use Splunk sims, and in this particular Splunk cert, you learn more than just Splunk, as it's a general security knowledge test. But also, it's okay, I guess. It's new, it's hot, it's fresh. It was released just at the end of 2023. And Cisco is going to acquire Splunk. Wait, what? Oh, you heard it, right? Apparently, Cisco is leveling up and is coming for you, vendors. Then, everything changed when the Cisco Nation attacked. So you might want to consider Cisco certificates coming up in this list. At $200, you have the SC200. Just like a lot of people use Cisco and Splunk, they also use a lot of Microsoft, specifically Microsoft Sentinel and Defender. Certainly worthwhile for you to familiarize yourself with this tech giant, as it too is gunning for you vendors. If Microsoft can buy Blizzard, the makers of the number one best video game ever created, fight me. And what's stopping them from taking over the number one cybersecurity company in 2024? Palo Alto. After all, we know Microsoft's shady cutthroat business practices, from stealing source code multiple times, allegedly, I don't know, to removing one-time costs in favor of subscription-based purchase models. In exactly five days, we will be $100 billion richer. <laughs> to Bill Gates trying to take away our beef. So we need to change cows, uh, cows to make what's called artificial meat. Have you tried an Impossible Burger? <laughs> <laughs> I actually almost puked. For just $100 more, you can get your hands on the EC Council CIH. <laughs> I couldn't even say that without laughing. Is what I would say if EC Council was not hated by the entire CyberSec community. But that's an entire video on its own. So stay tuned for that Mad Hat special documentary. So actually, Cisco Cyber Ops Associate or the CCNA. The Cisco Cyber Ops Associate is kind of like the Security Plus with Cisco flavor added. But if you're worried about the Cisco apocalypse, you might consider taking this. Now, CCNA is like the Network Plus, but harder. Beefier and again, Cisco Spice. Yo, I wanna fucking die. Same. It's funny how a harder networking certificate can be cheaper, but I imagine Cisco doesn't have to penny pinch nearly as hard as CompTIA does. And speaking of CompTIA, we've got the OG crew of certificates at around $400. Network Plus, Security Plus, and now CISA Plus. Switches, routers, networks, Duh. Don't ever want to work with Cisco or configure any networks? Network Plus is for you. Who needs to configure ACLs, routing protocols, or APIs? Just learn about the theory of it. Visitors essentially mated with Earth women. We became human. Dude, like front of the back? <laughs> Just look at it. 
And in, land. Damn. <laughs> now maybe some of the junior analyst jobs do, but certainly not all of them. I haven't had to configure ACLs, firewalls, or even touch a router in my security analyst job. But also, oh, Oilies says statistically CCNA is the way. But I say it doesn't matter either way, because at the end of the day, Networking isn't enough. Do more. Like the Security Plus. Talked about by everyone and their bosses, 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 boss. Theories, theories, theories. This is memorizing all the ways that security people think. If you're not thinking like a security person, then you're probably a software engineer trying to pass code tests before submitting to GitHub to your tech lead. There is a rumor of CISA Plus overtaking the Security Plus, but they're wrong because Security Plus will always and forever be the goaded gatekeeper of all things general security. And notice I said general because that's all you learn. General security. Security principles. With the CISA Plus, you can expect less of what is X and more here's X set of logs. What bad sh is present? If Security Plus is 145 for analysts, then CISA Plus is the 225 of the analyst world. Yeah. For the same price as CompTIA certs, you can get INE Securities, formerly eLearn Securities, Blue Teaming Certificates. Do you think they changed their name for the same reason my brother changed his construction business name? <laughs> bad reviews? Actually, it seems to be the other way around in eLearn Securities case. There's nothing but positive reviews before they were acquired by INE. Now, after being acquired in 2019, there's now talk of max greed and having gone downhill. This is unfortunately the case when it comes to a lot of company acquisitions or changes in management. The people and passion that first started the project are lost. And with it, something so special and unique becomes another failure among the rest. Father, is it over? No king rules forever, my son. But who knows? Maybe they'll turn it around. You can get past the buggy labs, terrible support, and someone outdated content that apparently is not being updated regularly, then you still stand to gain some valuable insight into blue teaming. And for $100 more, you can do the basic of all basic certificates, launched by CompTIA in 1993. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. Before most of you watching were even born, the a certificate. Can you imagine what the test was like back then? <laughs> well, you don't have to. Here's what it looked like in November of 1996. We've got CD-ROMs, printers, MS-DOS, Macintosh. Feeling old yet? I'm actually surprised it cost only $492 today when nearly 20 years ago, it cost around $400 for both core exams. And considering a dollar in 1996 is equivalent in purchasing power to about $2.02 today, the exam should cost around $800 or more. <laughs> Good old CompTIA. They're not max greeting like other companies out there. Having a certificate stand the test of time is kind of impressive actually. And CompTIA appears to have approached the if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality and just update the curriculum with new technologies with all the same basic principles. INE should take notes. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Although A plus is not a cybersecurity certificate, you're going to find everyone recommending it if you're tech illiterate. A much more tech savvy certificate recently released in fall of 2023 by every hacker's favorite playground, Hack the Box, is the CDSA. With the completion of the SOC analyst job path required to take this seven day exam, this is arguably the best intermediate exam available right now for up and coming SOC analyst stars like you. You spend however long you need over the seven days to professionally document any security incident and the related evidence on the provided template report. Arguably better, more hands-on, and more updated than a slightly more expensive blue teaming cert coming up. And according to Uni Nahib Ed Lotus, cheaper and hands-on? <laughs> like lol. Well, actually, Ed Lotus, it's the same price as the other cert. And also, the other blue team cert is apparently low quality copy pasted content. So take that with a grain of opinionated salt. Because the other blue team certificate we're talking about is Security Blue Team's Blue Team Level 1. Awarded after passing a 24 hour realistic incident response exam featuring a scenario, access to multiple systems, and 20 questions to answer that are mapped to the MITRE attack framework. The exam covers all these topics, seems robust to me. And for all the comments that are saying this is just freely available copy pasted content, isn't that the case for all tests and courses? Knowledge is available online, sure, but collecting it into a cohesive and organized manner that allows someone to readily learn the material is kind of the point of the course in the exam. We live in a pseudo-democracy, so the votes are in, and it appears CDSA takes the cake for more value. Also, if you spend the $500 to sign up, you get access to the required learning paths for Hack the Box's other two certificates. So much access to knowledge. Enough drama between certificates, though. At $700, you can go for the Cisco CyberOps Professional. Obtained after passing two exams, you have to take the core exam that covers cyber attacks, analyzing high volumes of data using automation, mitigation plans, and it's ultimately a 
Division 20 question multiple choice exam. The second actually gives you the option of taking either forensics and incident response or threat hunting and defending. Obviously, all three of the exams are going to emphasize Cisco technologies, but as we discovered earlier, Cisco's trying to take over the world, <laughs> the cyber world anyways. This is a step up from the cyber ops associate, obviously, as you can see in the chart here, but it's also the next step in working towards the CCIE, which some have said is God mode and quite a bit above the CISSP. But the CCIE is for networking gurus, and we're not aiming that high as junior analysts. It's a natural choice after the cyber ops associate or the CCNA, but it's mostly unknown, floating around in the ether, gaining little attention by the masses. And speaking of the CISSP, the CISSP, or more rather the associates of the CISSP. If you've watched my previous videos, then you know how I feel about this certification. With the first CISSP exam taken in 1994, proctored by ISC Squared, a company formed in 1989, it stood as the gold standard of cybersecurity professionals. Having passed the exam myself after studying for a week, I can vouch for the large amount of security principles one must be familiar with at the top level in order to pass the questions in the exam intended to confuse you. Studying for it helped me review and harden my overall understanding of all the domains in cybersecurity, even if the test left me confused as hell. You have the years of experience to be granted the full CISSP and are stuck with the associates of ISC label, that still helps you qualify in some government positions. And you could also risk getting your certificate revoked by putting associate of ISC squared with CISSP in parentheses. Now, I would never condone doing such a thing, but all I'm saying is getting your foot through the door is the hardest part. And also, any help desk position can be spun to cover any two of the domains that are required for the years of experience, which a lot of you commenting seem to have. Coming from tech industries, wanting to make a switch to cyber. Yes, I know how long you've been holding, and I don't care. But unlike the CISSP that's an inch deep and a mile wide, our next certificate is FIOC, the CCD by Cyber Defenders. Just like most of you, I've never heard of them, and finding when this certificate was created was a pain in the OSINT ass. But apparently, this shit goes hard. A 48-hour, 100% hands-on exam that evaluates your skills in threat hunting, perimeter defense, disk forensics, memory forensics, and network forensics. Forensics. And also, everything I've read says that the CCD blows the blue team level one out of the water. So naturally, the next comparison is, what about versus the Blue Team Level 2. CCD is more advanced and mind-bending than Blue Team Level 2. If you are a SOC analyst, already CCD. If you need a job, Blue Team Level 1 for your resume. But also, CCD is like an old school OSCP, but for blue team, sold. Sounds like an impressive certificate, according to its raving review. Does this look appealing to you? Apparently the syllabus is more extensive than the blue team level ones. And honestly, after having announced they're adding malware analysis to the exam, that might be the final nail in the coffin, sealing security blue team's fate as an inferior certificate in terms of the breadth of knowledge provided. But if you're looking for handholding, this ain't it, as the CCD definitely does not hold your hand. Next up, we have Offsex SC200. It's sleek, it's sexy, it's hip, and trendy, formerly known as the OSDA. Wait, what, how much is it? Jesus Christ. For just $1,649, you can attempt the OPSEC Securities OSDA 24 hour exam. Proctored by a company that was founded in 2006, based in New York. Made famous by their OSCP, but unfortunately the OSDA does not appear to share the same reputation. The exam consists of a simulated corporate environment, a sim, and phases with attack that have to be detected and documented into a professional report. Just as we've been doing, let's stir the sh** pot. Cuz Rev R Squeaky says security blue team is the superior effort. Agreed! Blue team level 1 and 2 are the GOAT, but OSDA is what work went for. It's no question that OSDA is inferior, but what about Hack the Box's CDS? Hack the box, CDSA, more practical. Boruto says CDSA, but Offsec knows clout jutsu. And Troglod Yady28 says OSDA doesn't cover a lot of tools and only uses Kibana. The masses have spoken. Now, for just a little more money, we've got our next cert in the list at $2,500. What do you have to say for yourself? Eight o'clock in the morning, I'll have fish and a rice cake. At 10 o'clock, I'll have fish. At 12 o'clock, I'll have fish and a rice cake. We've already decided the CCD is far superior and blue team level two is rubbish in comparison. And the price has us Americans cold smacked. A 72 hour exam where you write a report covering these four topics. Naturally more difficult than the blue team level one, but has a load of bullocks to sort out if they want to compete with the CCD. Now it's true, $1,649 for the OSDA seems to be an obviously bad financial decision. But what if I told you there's another way. For $2,500, you can obtain two 
offsec certs. Why go for blue team level two for that kind of money? You can get the OSDA and the OSCP. Now, why get the OSCP for a junior analyst position? There's only two red team certificates that I recommend newbie analysts obtain, and OSCP is one of them. Since offsec has adopted the ever so popular subscription-based model, we have to think outside of the box to maximize our money and learning opportunities. If you're absolutely mad like this lad, you can go to the Learn Unlimited route at $5,500 and attempt to obtain all the offsec certificates in one year. And if you can do it, that's $600 a certificate. Still not cheap and an absolutely astonishing feat to complete, but it's an option if you find yourself wanting a challenge and are a savant in computers. Now for just double the price of the Learn Unlimited, we've finally reached the end of the list. Almost. At $10,000, you can attempt to obtain one GIAC certificate. Now there's far too many blue teaming security analyst options to cover every exam syllabus. Founded in 1999 by the SANS Institute, these exams have been built with a reputation of being the most rigorous and well-recognized information available. The exams are two to five hours in length, are open notes, multiple choice questions, which are presented with a hands-on lab environment. There are no study sources available outside of the SANS courses. That cost... <laughs> well, it, it's right there. $10,000. $10,000 for the SANS course. The GIAC exams are $950. Paired with the SANS course, that puts the total price just over $10,000. Now, the SANS courses are available on demand, meaning self-paced, or live, where they fire hose knowledge down your throat, and you have to take notes frantically, and are typically a week in length. The fact that their on-demand courses cost the same as their in-person courses is sus. I agree, and they've got a point. 40 hours of boring video and 15 randomized questions at the end of the day to evaluate eight hours of quote-unquote training, all culminating in a $949 open book exam. Is it worth it? SANS training format is unlike anything seen in other certs. Having passed the G-Pen, go for OSCP. Jack is lacking in hands-on testing material. I got no hits from recruiters at all. Worth every penny. The trick is, get someone else to pay for it. If you know someone who's recently spent an arm and a leg for the course, you could theoretically self-study. This is prohibited by the SANS Institute. Punishable by no one, really. Who's gonna know? But also, it's more about the knowledge and skills you learn during the course. The cert is really a meaningless piece of paper. And finally, we have worth the money, but only paid for the first one. Which is it then, Oxyori? If it was worth the money, then why didn't you pay for all five of the GX certs? But wait, what's this? GSE? It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. The $100,000 certificate is the GSE. All you've gotta do is obtain six GIAC practitioner certifications and four applied knowledge certifications. And then they mail you the GSE. $5,600 for 10 exams and $100,000 for courses. If you need them, you need them. And you can become one of 300 members of the Ash Ketchum Club. Even the TCM guy mentions, nobody wants to admit that they just wasted thousands of dollars on a certificate that wasn't worth it.